bags here because we just got off of an eight hour Greyhound bus from Los Angeles to San Francisco. We made it here because we thought it would be an awesome weekend away in San Francisco and plus I needed an excuse to wear my cozy white sweater. I'm so you know I have one too, I brought one for I know, today. I thought yours was mine at one point. <laughs> We're because you wear all my clothes. Look, I do actually. Okay, our day started off pretty early. It started off a little something like this. It wasn't pretty. San Francisco. 7 a.m. Greyhound bus, a week come. We arrived at the Greyhound station and we had some expectations. I enjoy a good long bus ride because I feel like I can actually just chill for once. You know how I feel about planes, you know Either how I feel that, about trains. Or like seven hours straight of hardcore work. Okay, we need to get this boy like knocked out. We started our trip by, you know, getting comfortable on the bus. And although we wanted to film our entire trip on the bus, we didn't want to commit that number one travel faux pas. Talking, talking loud, loud on, on the, the bus. bus. No. Alright. Okay. I mean, some of us had no problem filling that time. Yeah. Just saying. Because 10 minutes in, she fell asleep. And she slept. Mm hmm. And slept. And slept some more. You know it. Oh, sorry. Okay, well I didn't sleep the entire time. To my defense, I did wake up and I had some interesting things to share. Okay, you guys, I keep sleeping so intensely on this bus. Partially because our driver, Eugene, is the nicest man. And in my dreams, like in real life, he's been super helpful throughout the whole bus. Ride. He's like, everybody, this is what you need to do to connect to Wi-Fi. I'm going to take a short 10 minute break. Like, like telling you what you're going to expect. Right around 11.15, I will make an announcement. So I guess my brain transformed that into like, Eugene was now my guidance counselor. And he was helping me get into college. And... Then I keep waking up and going back to sleep and, and Eugene is still there. <laughs> when we were finally both awake, Joe, that's when we took our first pit stop. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I like to do eye stretches, formerly known as eye openers. You were getting your sleep in there. I was I filmed you already. You I were know, sleeping. I was so tired. As if you what? can't sleep on a bus. I like, know, I'm like mad at you're you. You were bad. sleeping. Like, all I know is that I was upset when we pulled over, but not anymore because I'm gonna do my stretches. Sometimes your back gets a little crack into. Just like make sure nobody's near you. And extend. Ow. This is called a hip stretch. So after those stretches really loosened us up, we were able to get back on the bus and appreciate the finer things in life. There is a bathroom on this bus, and you know how I feel about buses that don't have bathrooms. I mean, you don't get on them. Which is exactly why we're on this bus, because there's a bathroom in here and you feel good. And our camera can finally be charged because we have outlet. First five minutes of the bus ride, camera died. About three hours in, we pulled over to our second rest stop to pick up some food. I mean, you do hear, after all, that uh, American gas stations have some of the best food. Rolling through, we are at our next pit stop, and we're gonna go to like America's finest gas station. You right know here. what? No road trip is complete without the infamous convenience store slash gas station stop. We're gonna leave with like pet dogs and slurpins and <laughs> slurpees and freaking all kinds of food. What? What's a slurp it? It's a combo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got your latest fashions. You got your sea salt chips. Look at all these options. items because you can't not pick up some berry very berry, berry juice very berry berry very very the juice. juice let's see if it's a berry very gross I think it might be <laughs> no 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 so no, no no give me the hot pickle very... <laughs> and now I will eat this very hot pickle it smells nasty oh, it's hot. <laughs> And it's a pickle, it's a hot pickle. Okay, here we have an all-American apple pie. For an all-American experience. How does that taste? Not bad. Really? Oh, Not bad. Oh. I think they just closed the door. Did they just close the door? <laughs> no, no. 
Wait for us. So our next rest stop, we decided, hey, we got some time to kill. It's time to kill some fat after those weird cakes we ate from the, the gas station. pickle. So once you've been in a seated position for way too long, and once you've eaten the fast food at the convenience store, it's time to work out. First exercise. See, now this is good because when you're in a seated position, you don't work out these muscles. This next one is to give you a full body workout. It's called the bus twist, inspired by our bus ride. Abs. Arms. Now your abs may feel a little bit tight because we did work them out at the last pit stop. Four. Keep that form. The bus is gonna leave without us. But now it's time to take those abs to the next level. Extend, extend, tighten. Extend, extend, crunch. And then ladies, we all want to get that slim waist so you do the same on the side. Extend, extend, tighten. Extend, extend, explode! And for the final leg of our bus trip, we spent some quality time telling each other travel tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know that one travel tip? It's like ask the bus driver which side of the road the scenic route's gonna be on, so you choose that seat. Yes, I don't know that. Did you know the travel tip of like if you are in the window seat, make sure you're sitting on the side of the bus where the sun does not rise. See, so that's something like, on your face. Yeah, no one ever thinks of that. Like, what about the one where it's like don't take a scenic bus route during the night because you're not going to see anything? Or what about maybe not falling asleep for the entire ride? Oh, oh, I think oh, I caught like okay. 10 minutes oh, of the trip. Just now joining us here in San Jose. We're now on our way to Oakland. And then before we knew it, we had made it to San Francisco. San Francisco, we made it. We are here, we made it from our LA journey to San Francisco, and you're like, man, the video's over, right? And oh. I'm like, no. No, you guys, what we gotta go do now, after the eight hour bus ride, is go home, film the intro and the narration, See, which- That's gonna be kind of confusing. You've already watched. You watched that. Which means maybe we need a replay. <laughs> no. Nah, you don't have to rewatch the whole thing unless you wanna hang out with us again. This is getting confusing. It's like, are you hanging out with present or past? Oh, is this the present? Or is Just the like rewind again. Rewind that back. Too. You can click replay. Yeah. We're not mad at that. I might watch but it again. What we do need you to do is comment below. What are your favorite bus memories? Like the whole day for me was memorable because I was sleeping <laughs> the whole time. No, I had a good time though. Like on that Wi-Fi, like for real, I got a thousand things done. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to keep watching because we're filming our entire SF journey. That's right. So we'll see you there in that video. In the next we'll see video. See you in the next video. Oh my god, it's getting tricky. Wait, what? Bye. What? Hey, everybody. I feel like we need to be quiet to preserve the natural mm -hmm. tranquility. We do because guess where we're at? The, the Redwoods. Red ah. People wait their lives to see this. I've waited my whole life to see this. I've always wanted to come here and I didn't know that you could come here 20 minutes from San Francisco. And so now you need to click on that link to watch our full episode in San Francisco. It'll all be there. But for now, you know what? I'm not even going to show you the Redwoods because you got to go watch the you video. You just got to watch the video. Bye-bye.